This is Hexer18. How's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, use TrueCrypt in Backtrack 5 R1. So, um, what we want to do is go to Applications, Internet, I mean Backtrack, sorry, and then Forensics, and then the uh, Digital Anti Forensics, and it should say Install TrueCrypt if you haven't installed it just yet. So, follow the wizard, and then come back, and you'll see TrueCrypt right here. Click it, and it'll run. Now, if you haven't used TrueCrypt, I'm going to try to explain it the best I can for you um, in detail. So, um, TrueCrypt here, what you want to do is, for your, for this demonstration, I'm going to select slot 1 and say create a volume. And then uh, I want to create an encrypted file container. What this means is it's going to create a file where I want it. And then it's going to ha basically be a container. What I mean by that, or what this means by that, is it allows you to store files inside of it. So uh, we're going to use this next, standard, next, select um, a file or give it a name. So um, I'm going to go to the desktop here and I'm going to name it uh, secure guys have a better understanding how to use this never save history I always have that checked next uh, I always use AES all these are good there's no bad one so AES is what I use next uh, the size of the file is not big so I'm just gonna say one meg um, of course change the uh, volume size if you have larger files so the password, I'm just going to put in uh, a password for this. It's going to be a short one. Short, yes. Fat, yes. Now here, it needs to uh, generate a random pool of keys. So just move your mouse around as much as you like. And when you're done, just hit format. And then it's created. Okay. Next. I'm going to, oh, okay, it's done. So I hit cancel and then now we got our file here now this file cannot be opened this volume cannot be opened anywhere except TrueCrypt TrueCrypt decrypts it and allows you to store files in it I'm going to show you how that works so just imagine the secure file right here as a bin that stores files in it okay like a folder but it won't let you in there unless you have the password I'm going to show you how that works so slot 1 Select file, desktop, secure, open, and then say mount. Now it's going to ask for the password that you just put in during that setup wizard. So I'm going to type in the password that I put, hit OK, and then you'll see a drive. It's in the way here. OK, so the drive, now it's decrypted, it's mounted. Now you can store your files in it. So I'm going to store password in there. And the password in there is Swordfish. I just, you know, made that up. That's from the movie Swordfish, if you ever watch it. It's a good one. Uh, go watch it if you have it. Now, it's stored there. Now, the what you when you're done storing your files inside this, then you can dismount, and then it's gone. Now, the file is stored inside here. Password, right here, the one that we just... I just showed you the one that has swordfish in there is stored inside this file it's secured so the only way you you can send this you can back it up whatever nobody can access it unless you use TrueCrypt and you open it or mount it sorry mount it and then you have to type in this path your a uh, password that you put in the wizard and then you have access to that file again that's how that works so go ahead mess around with it you know let me know what you think of this tutorial I tried to give it um, you know and the best examples that I could and I just wanted to make this really quick for you guys alright I'll let you guys go go ahead and comment and send me your messages talk to you guys later